Skies are crystal clear tonight in our area. Perfect to view the first super moon of the year. And Kate, I guess you're talking about, uh, it's called a pink moon, is that right? It is indeed called the pink moon, Yuki. And it's not pink, unfortunately. That's the sad part. The good part, though, is it is visible and beautiful. Take a look at what's going on out there tonight. This is some footage from earlier showing that pink moon. It's called the pink moon because at this time of the year, that's when some pink flowers tended to sprout forth from the earth. And, well, it's not pink, but you can see it is beautiful. It is bright. It is lighting up the night sky. A supermoon generally appears larger and brighter than its counterpart. So hopefully you had a chance to get outside and see that tonight. Let's take a look at what Center City looks like right now. It is all lit up from the supermoon, the pink moon. I wish it were pink and make a nice selfie for Instagram, but unfortunately it's not. Center City looking great though. Current conditions it is a little chilly. It's 54 degrees in the city. That's not bad right now, but we are headed for the 40s overnight, and many spots, as I showed you at the top of the broadcast, are already in the 40s. Now, Storm Scan 3 shows some showers off to the north. This is a warm front that's going to stay to the north of us, but it is going to start ushering in the warmer air as soon as tomorrow. Our real warm up comes on Wednesday, and it all comes out ahead of a large frontal system that's just kind of starting to get its act together over the Rockies. That will eject eastward by the end of the week, and that's going to bring us our next chance for rain starting on Thursday. So it's not a long lasting taste of summer, but it is certainly going to feel like full summer here on Wednesday as highs surge into the 80s. We're talking upper 80s on Wednesday, but then by the end of the week, you start to see that cooler air moving in as our cold front comes through Friday. We are going to start May this weekend on a decidedly less summer-like note. Tonight's low, 44, mainly clear, quiet, and chilly. Winds are calm, so that helps. Today was a little breezy. Tomorrow, not so much, and the winds switch tomorrow. It's a south to southwest wind drawing in all that warm air. And I'll tell you, even though Wednesday's the hottest day of the week, Tomorrow, for my money, is the best day of the week. 74 degrees. We start to transition to that warmer pattern. It's mostly sunny. It is a perfect spring day. Then on Wednesday, we jump from the mid-70s to the upper 80s. 87 degrees is the forecast high. The record is 90. That was set in 90. I don't think we're going to hit 90, but there is a chance. We're going to give it a run for its money, and this will be the second 80-plus degree day so far this year. Future weather, Wednesday shows this boundary off to the north. Wednesday is dry and hot, then showers start to sag southward early Thursday. But the actual cold front passage happens right here on Friday with scattered showers and thunderstorms, and the timing is still very up in the air. There's a lot of model disagreement as far as exactly when that front comes through. But suffice it to say, things start to go downhill a bit by Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow, again, my gold star day of the week. I think it's the nicest day. Wednesday's hot, near record heat. It'll feel like summer. If you like the heat, that's your day. On Thursday, scattered showers. Friday, a shower, a thunderstorm turning windy and noticeably cooler. And then we start May on Saturday on a bit of a cool note at 64 with a breeze. But we warm back up quickly. 68 on Sunday, 70s again by next week. Not a bad way to finish out April with temperatures above average. But again, Jessica, tomorrow. That's the day to get outside. Ooh, good to know. Kate, thank you.